up everybody blue gabe we are on the econ river in central florida just outside of sanford florida and we're headed out fishing today it's just crystal and i t-dubs and his family my boys are with their mom it's easter weekend tomorrow's actually easter day we were headed out fishing you see that bridge there's pigeons underneath it well guess what folks if you follow along you know who t-dubs is he's everything pellet guns and guess what i just got a brand spanking new really ranked pellet gun and it's legal to shoot pigeons year round in florida so we're gonna load this bad boy up head over to this bridge see if we can't pop a cap in one the first victim is looking mighty nervous so we're gonna act like we're just easing up here we don't know what we're doing we're not actually after him Oh, he just switched locations. <laughs> oh no! Oh! Oh, you smoked him. I smoked you him. You smoked him. I'm gonna have to get a fishing pole to get him off though. One shot, one kill! <laughs> oh! I hit him. You got some feathers off of him. There's another one right there. I'll check him out. What, T-Dubs? You got to one. If you follow along, you know who T-Dubs is. He's everything pellet gun. But he also owns and operates tropical trophies. If you want to come to South Florida and shoot pigeons or iguanas or turkeys or hogs or whatever, I'm going to put his Instagram right here. Tropical trophies. Look at the purple on him now. Yeah, you can see it. It's so pretty. Hey, like I always say, one shot to the head. Now you know he did. He did. I knocked the feathers off of two, though. Hey, at least we got one. Let's we go got there. one. Let's go catch some fish. Good. I do a lot of stuff with a lot of people all over the country and really all over the world. My buddy T Dub, he's like Crystal's brother. He's one of us. He is one of the funnest humans you will ever spend time with. If you've ever wanted to come to Florida and do anything, look up tropical trophies we call him t-dubs his name is travis you will never have more fun with anybody than you will with him How did you get wet? That was about 50-50. 50, 50, 50 my fault, 50 his fault. No, yeah. It was more his fault. No, because I tilted it up right at last moment. So it was about 50-50. Listen, it's all fun and games until you're on a boat with one of your buddies and he's behind you. It's it's a war then. Somebody's getting wet. Well, we have arrived to our happy place. Look right here. I mean, just could you look at it? Where are you going? I'm gonna go catch you some lunch, babe. I got lunch, don't you worry. I don't want to eat that pigeon. Just one pigeon for all of us. I don't want to eat that pigeon. Why not? It's just a pigeon. Pigeons are good. All right, you guys, we're cheating a little bit, but we're also not cheating because that's my Kingsford charcoal. It got damp. So I walked around, gathered up some little oak sticks and some Spanish moss. We're going to start the fire and use a little bit of natural wood and a little bit of charcoal. We got more than pigeons to eat, folks. Don't worry. I got something special. 
The charcoal's lighting. Yeah, hey, we're in luck. We're in luck, folks. Oh, look, he got him a red breast. Bring him here, son. Let's see him. Boys are down there ripping lips while I'm trying to cook lunch. While we're waiting on him to bring us this fish, this is my pro drive. And this is a, I think it's called a backwater, right? What kind of motor is that? Yeah, it's a black back, backwater mud motors, backwater mud motors, it's 40 horse. What are they, that's a long, long tail. tail. Yeah. They call it a long tail? Long tail. So it's a little bit different than what I got. It's just as fast. If you saw at the beginning of the video, he was running just as quick as I am with a lot of weight. What kind of boat is this? I believe it's a prototype Panther haul. My buddy got it off Facebook Marketplace and then he found the motor on Facebook Marketplace and put it all together and this thing, it, it scoots. It moves. Let me see, son. That's a red breast right there. A female. A pretty one, too. Yep. So I'm sitting here getting the fire going. A big fish keeps busting at the back of your boat literally about once a minute. We can't catch him. But yeah, that's yeah. not what's got me chuckling right now. Remember when we went to the bridge and we were shooting the pigeons and a couple of them fell on the highway with people driving by? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still have that footage and I ain't never used it. Oh, we should put that in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you go with him there is nowhere else in the world no. that you can do what you what you can do when you go with him so watch a couple of these shots that we made this was like a month and a half ago a bunch of us friends and jake went up on the river i think that was south of palm beach airport i yeah. can't remember right where it was at but you'll just watch us dust some pigeons i'll even throw in some iguanas too what? right next to the bushes oh it's right on top of the look right look just left of the see look left of the other iguana left look on the right oh, yeah yeah, yeah. Go for a head, shot. head shooting head shooting oh, oh, oh. Don't hit him again he ain't going nowhere hit him again he's about to get back up there he is Ooh. oh good like shot that. jake that was nasty! <laughs> Good job, Jake. Oh! He got one. Oh! He took it. Dude, no, he he's, took it. He's, he's gonna go down. He's going down. He's got that leg His dropped. leg is dropped. He's going down into the ditch. Dude, he's the canal. down there, Jake. Took it. Yeah, Holy they, smokes. You guys. Oh, hey, there's, there's, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, got him. Nice. No, he down. Oh, and he's on our side too. Nice job. Awesome. We're on pigeon retrieval duty. That was a graceful jump. Let's see if I can do hey, that. I just found me a new pair of sneakers. Look at that view. Dang, it's kind of hard to climb up this. Pigeon retrieval. Dang, a new pair of shoes. Look at it, I'd like to give you some new shoes, man. And they Nikes. I, I see him right there. I see him. Dang, this kind of sucks to walk on. Yeah, it's not real plushy. It's not real plushy like I thought it was going to be. It's going to fit? Dang. Yeah, it's too small. Wonder. He's hollering. He's got two. He got two. He got two. What? <laughs> what you got? I'm not even a waterfowl hunter, y'all, but I got me a banded. You are kidding me. Pigeon. You are kidding me. <gasps> He's a banded pigeon. A banded pigeon. Yeah, look at that. What in the heck, Gabriel? We are mounting that thing. Good thing my girlfriend's a <laughs> oh, waterfowl taxidermist. Look at that we beautiful are bird. Mountain. Wow. Mine landed right in a puddle. Oh, really? Literally right in a puddle. I knew that the highway was well beyond I thought I could this, see where it bent. I thought this was an honor. Dude, this is a trophy right here. That's a huge pigeon. Y'all, we got a pigeon, pigeon, pigeon for dinner. Catch hey, cleaning have you ever had dinner. pigeon and iguana tacos? No, nope, but I'm down to try. That sounds wild. A banded pigeon. I didn't even know they banded pigeon. A banded pigeon? Like... I cannot wait to look it up. Teamwork with the fishing pole. Teamwork, thanks for teamwork. There we go. There you go. Oh, he's banded! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> we just had a double end at all. Alright, 
Michi's up to bat. She's got about a 60 yard shot. Can she hit him? Oh! oh my God. Man, we just wanted the grass up there too. What you just did, Michi? Holy smokes! She just him. wrecked him. She smoked that one too. I see his tail wiggling. That was sweet. All right, show off. Oh, right here. Oh, got him. How did he tote that? Get him again. Done. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Y'all just triple teamed him. I think all three of y'all hit him simultaneously. Didn't pull the trigger, close to it. Well, somebody pulled the trigger besides Jake. You must have been shooting yeah. too. Okay. I was letting Jake shoot. I was just going to be clean up. Well, then two of them hit him at once. Yeah. He's a big one. They remind me of like Brahma cows when they get all fluffy. Look at that. Pretty colors. Nice shot. Thank you. Put him in the cooler. That, that's our dinner tonight. I'm down. You guys see this right here? The Double C Bar Ranch. Beef and cheddar bratwurst. This is the best sausage you will ever eat in your life. And if you check the link in the description below, I'll tell you how to get it. Unfortunately, they're not shipping yet. So you can only get it if you live in Central Florida and want to drive out to the ranch. They are going to be shipping soon. And once they do, this stuff is life-changing. T-Dubs, you got a knife? Yeah, I got one. You always have a knife. I'm always prepared for everything. And I never have one. Here's one. Bro. What? You said a knife. I got you a knife. Goodness. Like, I just meant like a little pocket knife. That is a pocket knife. Check out that Zeb code, too. He's using it. Let me see that reel. That's 202, baby. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> 202. 202. You ain't catching nothing in here. I promise you. Oh, yeah, whatever. Babe. Knife right there. I got to go cut us a pond prawn to cook the sausages with. You got the right knife. All right, here's the test to see how sharp his knife is. Oh, it's pretty sharp. Not too sharp, T-Dubs. You got a little bit of work to do. Have you ever cooked a sausage on a pond prawn before? I don't know if this is actually gonna work. It's gonna be kind of difficult. What are y'all doing? I got a frying pan. Travis, you could have mentioned that a little while ago. You asked for a knife, not a frying pan. I didn't know you had a frying pan. Well, you didn't ask. Play game. It's go, go, gadget. I got everything. What else you, do, you want? You do have everything. <laughs> that is for sure. I got here. He got you, us a cast iron skillet. You need one of those? He got a pistol, too. I think this is going to work much better than the palm frond, folks. Huge shout out to the Chapman family. They were nice enough to put my boys on a turkey and get us some sausage. The only problem is there's only four and there's one, two, three, four, five, six of us. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some splitting. I finally, oh, oh, let me see that fish two in the days sun. strong. Let me see son. that fish in the sun. That is a beautiful fish. Two days strong. I've been trying to catch one of these. Y'all look at that. That is a beautiful fish. Red breast. I think he's going on the grill. We're one sausage short, or actually two sausage short, so he swallowed it anyways. We're definitely cooking him. The problem is we don't have any seasonings. Look at him. I mean, that's the prettiest colored fish. <gasps> oh no, he got away. Dag darn it. Just like a dove, but bigger. Cool thing about where we're at, we can take the organs, try to catch a kid. Oh. Somebody's been feeding corn out here. Corn just fell out of this bird. A lot of yellow hey, acorns. It, it's turkey season. Wait, wait, wait. Those are yellow yelpers. Yellow acorns. Is that too? <laughs> we call them yellow acorns. Somebody's been corning around here, folks, at home. That was funny. <laughs> I can't knock it. I love corning for turkeys, too. You just peel the skin right off like that. Throw it in the water. I shot him right through the breast. Look at that. Think. Travis would say that was a not a good shot. You need to head shoot them. Now we can put him on a stick and cook him. We have no seasoning. So this is going to be all natural. This is going to be killing and eating off the land with no seasoning. 
Remember on Dumb and Dumber yeah. when he sells on a parakeet with the with the head duct tape back? Pretty <laughs> Who sells a blind kid a dead bird? Travis, come here. Yep. Come here, T Dev. Try that right there. Come here. Try a piece. Alright. Oh. It's hot. Oh. It's hot, but other than but that, here's the star of the show. The old, good. the old bridge mm, pigeon. That is good. No salt, no nothing. Okay. Oh, it's hot. It's medium. Cooking the grease. Medium rare. Hang on. Let's go down the hatch. Okay. Come here, okay. pigeon. Ain't bad. No, it ain't bad. It looks like a dog. It tastes just like deer meat. Exactly like deer meat. Yep. We get another slice of that. That sausage was awesome. Come here, babe. He was trying to steal your piece. Fitting to steal a piece right here. Carly, That's you're fantastic. missing. You're missing the bridge this, pigeon. I, One thousand percent is better than dove. If it had just a yeah. tiny bit of salt, it'd be perfect. Yeah. Thousand percent is better. Than, <laughs> it's better than dove. Oh man. He thought he was getting that. You thought you were getting this, didn't you? Yeah. Cool, you want to try a piece of pigeon? Yes, please. All right, here you I go. dropped one of the sausages in the sand. I don't know which one. I think it was the piece I just got. But that pigeon. pigeon Matt, did you try a pigeon yet? Yeah. The bridge pigeon is great. I love it. Good? It's really good. I'm shooting them. Every pigeon I see now is dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's good. Since when have you let very many pigeons go, anyways? They don't. I normally give them to people. How many Muscovy ducks you killed this year? Uh, to this date? Yeah. I think I'm over 42. So another cool thing you can shoot when you're down there hunting with Travis is Muscovy ducks and Egyptian geese, and you can also shoot the uh, pigeons. The Muscovy ducks are the, they're a pretty duck with a really ugly head. Their head actually looks like a gobbler's head. It's all like blah, 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 blah. gross, but you can kill them year round. And the Egyptian geese, pigeons. That fish is big and that it looked a like a big shell cracker or a I crappie, a bass. A bass? Anyhow, we're going to wrap it up. We've just been sitting on the bank having a good time. I'm going to go get the kids tomorrow, probably hide some Easter eggs and go to church. If you ain't going to church tomorrow, you need to go to church. Right now, though, we're going to finish eating these sausages because they are super good. Check the link in the okay. description below. Okay. Oh, 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 what you got over there? Look, biggest <laughs> of the day! You got lucky. <laughs> Not the trip, though. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a beautiful a really fish. fish. If you follow along and you watch my very last video, you saw Luke tell y'all it's almost his birthday and we're almost to a million. It would mean the world if you hit that subscribe button. Right now though, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all. Shot off that power line. How cool is that?